Hey guys, how you doing? So we're back. Um, and uh, so just a quick life update. It's been about two months, maybe, or maybe a month and a week um, since my last uh, update about the red team. So if you remember, um, I just kind of got accepted. It was a week in. Uh, we were still onboarding as far as the contract is concerned. Um, we had the job description, and uh, I was just waiting for everything to get spun up, for, to get access, get on site, uh, meet the team, all that jazz. And so it's been about a little bit over a month um, since that video, and I'm here to, to basically say I'm not on that team anymore. Uh, my last day is actually tomorrow. Um, so I've been, a, I've been a government contractor for 10 years for 11 years now and it happens um, so pretty much long story short to break down what happened was a miscommunication between the client the prime <clears throat> and then my company which was the sub or one of the subs uh, again I won't get into specifics about names companies uh, the agency or whatnot but pretty much um, the description that I was provided and pitched to and that I applied for. Turns out at that time um, that I saw it and applied to it, it was the case for this particular position. Um, I get there and I wasn't the only one. There was another another person, really just two of us at that time, at this time, still there just two. Uh, now after tomorrow, it's just gonna be one, him. Um, so pretty much when we got there, things started to change, things started to mold and it turns out um, the program wasn't mature enough, right? So we were there. We were we were new contractors. We were hired. We were on site. We were provided access and all that stuff. And the, mature, the program wasn't really mature enough. So it turns out, hey, we got these guys here. Let's put them over here. Let's put them on this team. Let's do this. You know, have them do something else. So pretty much, um, what we interviewed for, what we applied for, what we were hired for, kind of just evaporated. There are plans down the line too for this program to mature. Um, but at the time at this time is they weren't doing they weren't basically weren't doing it for us. So now they then so after that happened they tried to shift us to another team. Um, this team was basically one that does inspections, CSIs a little bit of traveling, which is nothing wrong with traveling. I love traveling, but it's it was the kind of a been there, done that type of deal. Sticks. I felt duped. I felt like it was a bait and switch, which it pretty much was. Um, nothing against my company, nothing against the prime, and not even nothing against the client. I think there were there were two factions within the client, on the client side, that were pulling at us. We're basically like these two little kids, and they were fighting over us. You know, mommy, daddy, parent type stuff, and the established faction kind of won that battle it seems and the new faction that's trying to develop a new program or whatever i don't know they're just not ready it's just it's just kind of it's kind of on the back burner now and so pretty much they were like well we got you guys here you're here already um we do have this other work that we need done you guys qualify obviously we want you to go here and i was not feeling it i was not having it, it sticks um you know, this is this type of stuff does happen. It happened to me before um, in another place, and that was in excess of 15, 16 months of waiting and kicking the can down the street and delays and this this is why we can't do this, yada, yada, yada. So I was just not feeling it. I was definitely not happy. Um, so when I found out that news, I wanted to jump ship immediately, right? Um, told my company I wasn't happening. I was, I was not having this. I wasn't with it. I dealt with this before. I was not happy. And so then there, you know, there was uh, a compromise provided on agreement came to where they said, okay, we're going to get, if you give us some time, um, give us some time to get some new people to replace you two. And once that happens, we can move you somewhere else. Right. And for a little bit, it sounded like a sweet deal, but um, it, it started turning sour uh, really quick because one, they had two of us and they wanted to wait till they found five more. 
So that seemed a little suspicious. My logic being, well, you if you could just if you just get two, you can move us. Why would you need to wait for five? So to me, that's 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 sounded like it felt like a delaying tactic, which, again, I've been through this before. It's not fun. Um, so initially, I agreed to that. I was like, okay. Initially, it was 30 days. Um, so it would have been like mid-October where uh, apparently these five people were going to show up and materialize, and then we can move. Um, but as as you can see, it's it's the, it's the end of September. Um, and this, this government type stuff, contracting, hiring, all that does not happen that fast. I mean, you barely had us two and we were there for something different. And now you're telling us, <clears throat> or now you told us you want to get five more, uh, to do the job that, you, that we are currently assigned now uh, sticks. Um, yeah, so that kind of sucks. You know, I'm disappointed about it. Um, it took me a couple of weeks, maybe two and a half weeks to get off of that, off the contract. Um, I was not really trying to stay there. I was not trying to deal with sticks. Um, like I said, it was a bait and switch. It, it may not have been the intent initially, um, but that's what it ended up being, and I was not okay with staying near f four months, five months, six months, a year doing something I didn't apply for. So um, kind of sucks that, you know, last month I put out that video, said, hey, this is my year doing OCP, and I'm on a red team, and I was excited, and it was the case at that time. And uh, I have to take that back, and so I feel bummed about that. But all, I know all I have to do is just keep doing what I've been doing, you know, keep applying myself, keep keep studying, keep doing what I have to do, and that's going to happen for me. Um, uh, so, yeah, as far as what the, what the job they wanted us to do, um, if you work in IT and government, uh, I'm just going to say one word, and you'll probably know exactly what I'm talking about, uh, sticks. It was pretty much sticks. Um, you know, a lot of walkthroughs, checklists, uh, reviews, you know, if, if you know any of these words or not words, but if you know what I'm talking about, you know, it's great for, for starter people, you know, to get in there, learn, learn a lot of these things. But if you've been doing it as, as much as I have, you know, the drill, um, there's nothing really else you can learn from reading sticks. Um, so again, I was not having it. I was not, I was not prepared. I was not okay with that. And so tomorrow's my last day. And I'm going to just keep doing what I got to do. Um, hopefully. So maybe this is what I'll do. So next time I get on something, a contract or a position or something, I think I'm going to hold off before I jinx myself and put out a, a celebratory video saying, hey, um, I got a pen test position or a red team. Like, I'm going to wait. You know, even when I, when I record that and I put it out, um, you know, again, it was the early stages of that that whole that whole onboarding process and it turned it, you know, it fell apart and that's what happens. You know, if you're in contracting, contracts get lost, um, things happen, you know, clients, they reorg, they, they put you somewhere else and that's pretty much the way it is sometimes. So I was not, I was not okay with it. Um, the other gentleman that I would, that was hired on with me, he's also not okay with it. Um, but I had a less tolerance, um, I guess, I don't know what he's going to do or, or how he feels. Uh, well, I know how he feels, but I don't know. Anyway, you, you know what I'm saying. So um, as far as uh, a book contest, I'm going to do Red Team again. Um, it seemed to It was about 75 comments, 75 hashtags for that, so it seemed to be pretty popular. So I'm going to do the same thing. Um, if you want the Red Team book, hashtag uh, Trapper Hackers Red Team, I'll, I'll do another contest again for that on the next video also it is now september 25th uh five more days left in the month october 1st i'm doing another email subscription winner for another book uh up to 50 dollars for their choice you know a book of their choice um so look out for that if you haven't signed up for that the link is here somewhere um so there's two two books tribe hackers and then one of your own choosing um so yeah uh just want to put that out there kind of sucks um can't really say anything else about that situation um but i did have to correct the last video so to recap i am not on a pen test team or a red team rather the contract was a shit show and i'm leaving that place so maybe one day years and years from now in the future i can get into specifics about the the, the agency or whatnot it wasn't the Pentagon. I just have a Pentagon shirt. Um, I was at the Pentagon a, a while back. But um, 
yeah, so, and it's red. I wore it because it's red team, so. Yeah, so that's all I have. Uh, again, I appreciate the likes, shares, and subscribes. Um, oh, I do have two new interviews uh, scheduled for October, actually. One early October and one late October. Um, I will be at B-Size DC um, late October, October 25th, I think it is, the weekend that weekend. Um, so look out for that. Look out for my two new interview hacker interviews for hackers. And, um, yeah, so I think that's all I have. Again, uh, hit the like, share, subscribe if you appreciate this. I appreciate you guys. Hit my Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. I now have a Twitch. I'm doing uh, a little bit of stuff on there. I haven't really decided what that's going to be about. But when I know, you will know. Um, and that's all I have. So appreciate your time. Again, sorry, sucks. I am not on a red team. It's frustrating, but one day I will be there. So thanks again, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.